Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me in this video. Welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Quinn, and on my channel, I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. So in this video, I have a very long-awaited product review that I've gotten a lot of requests for, and I've kind of put it off, just because I got a haircut, like, a year ago or so and I didn't think that it was necessary but now since my hair has kind of grown back to being like somewhat long again I figured that this is the perfect opportunity to try out this product and that is the Dyson Airwrap long curling barrel so if you guys have been following my channel for a while you know that I have an entire playlist dedicated on the Dyson Airwrap I tried to cover pretty much anything that you might need to know about the Dyson Airwrap because it is such an expensive product. And I feel like with the Dyson Airwrap, it's kind of one of those things that's like you either love it or you hate it. And personally for me, the Dyson Airwrap and I have kind of like a love-hate relationship. There are things that I really like about it and then there are also things that I don't like as much. Um, but I try to be as completely honest with you guys because if I am talking about a product that is, you know, $600, I want you guys to know every single aspect about it because that's a big investment in my opinion so just a disclaimer all opinions in this video are my own and I know sometimes not everyone agrees with my opinions but that is just kind of my own take on it so please bear with me if you don't agree and if you don't agree let me know why in the comment section below because that really helps me get a better insight on um, how other people view this product so since it's been a while since I've done a Dyson Airwrap video I thought I would give you guys a quick refresher this is the Dyson Airwrap I got the complete model I guess you can call it that so it came with pretty much everything that they originally came out with um, and then this is the base so this is like the main part of the Dyson Airwrap and all of these and here are the attachments so you get the pre-styling dryer the 1.2 inch curling barrel, the 1.6 inch curling barrel, the firm smoothing brush, soft smoothing brush, and then a volumizing round brush. So that is pretty much everything you get when you order the Dyson Airwrap kit, the complete at least. I know they have different combinations, so if you don't want everything that you can get kits that don't come with everything and just come with what you want. So I just got this because I wanted to try every attachment they had. And when I did my original Dyson Airwrap review videos, I found that the curling barrels were just too short for my hair, for the length of my hair especially. Even when I was doing sections that were like one inch thick, when this wraps around, it can only wrap around so many times before the barrel is completely full and then you really don't get a lot of air circulation with the rest of your hair. So I found that it took me a lot longer because I had to use smaller sections of hair on this because if I use two large of sections, then it would just get like the tip of my hair and not get the rest of my hair dry. So that was kind of like one of the main issues I had with the curling barrels. I don't know if a lot of people have that same complaint, but Dyson has come out with the long barrels now um, in both the 1.2 inch barrel and the 1.6 inch barrel. I went ahead and got the 1.6 inch barrel because I liked the curls from that better. I like that they were a little bit bigger they're a little bit softer so i'm gonna open this up and we're gonna try it out to see if it is an improvement from the original barrel lengths before i open this up though, i want to talk about price because this was 39 dollars um and you cannot get the long barrel in the kit um, that i know of so if you order the kit itself it only comes with the original size barrels and then if you want the long barrels you have to pay extra for it and so that's something that i'm not a huge fan of i wish that you can kind of pick and choose but from my understanding that wasn't the case also they have this really cool purple color now which i actually really really like but i got the pink and gray color um, and they didn't have the pink and gray and so this is gonna like really mismatch my whole set But that's okay. It's just color and of course it comes in this really really nice packaging. Oh It is a lot longer. I'm actually very excited about this. I thought it was just gonna be slightly longer, but it's like I want to say like 50% longer than uh, the previous barrel which is like significant in my opinion so hopefully that does the trick hopefully that curls a lot better i did not expect it to be this much longer but i'm very excited also 
I'm loving the black and purple. I wish that my Dyson Airwrap was this color because it is so sleek, it's so beautiful. This is nice and everything, but this, this is just, this is beautiful, I love black. So I think what I'm gonna do for this video is curl one side of my hair with the original curling barrel and then the other one with the long curling barrel and see if it speeds up the process at all, see if it's any better, because it has been a while since I used this, and let you guys know whether it's worth the investment to pay the extra $39 on top of the like $550, $600 investment for the kit to get the long barrels. Okay, so right now my hair is, I wanna say about 85% dry, so I'm gonna wet a little bit of it just so that this part of it is just as damp as the bottom part, and then I'll be right back. I'm gonna start on, this side and use the regular barrel and then I'm going to use the long barrel on the other side and see if I like one more than the other and also I want to see if one is faster than the other just with the added length and just because I know a lot of you guys get triggered I'm going to try my best to part my hair I normally don't part my hair very well when I do my own hair but I know it triggers a lot of you guys, so here we go. So here are the results. As you see, it looks very voluminous, like very like bouncy, very soft. I will say using the longer barrel feels like it works a lot better than the shorter barrel. I know with the shorter barrel, I always had a hard time trying to fit all of the hair on here. Even if I was using like really small sections with this, I could use larger sections and still, for the most part, fit everything on here. If I was using the same sections as this side, like no issues whatsoever. Towards the end there, I did try to like get larger sections just to see if it works. And as you guys can see, it did work. I did get like larger sections to curl on here. So that was really nice, especially since that was like the whole purpose of me getting this in the first place was to save time and also ease of use. It's so much easier to be able to fit the entire section of hair on here rather than just, you know, getting most of it on and then like some of it is like falling off or like going over the top, which I found was the case with this one. I feel like the curls are very comparable. And keep in mind, these curls I did as easy as possible because I want to just kind of test these. Um, normally I would alternate my curls between each curl, um, so alternate the direction of my curls. 
Um, I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to overcomplicate this video, so I just had everything going away from my face. But for the most part, as you guys can see, it does give very similar effects. I'm going to go ahead and spray this to give it a little bit of texture. And then a little bit of hairspray to hold the curl. And yeah, I mean, that is pretty much it. I definitely do think that this helps a lot. The longer barrel helps a lot, especially if you have longer hair. Um, do I think it's necessary? No. I think if you're interested in the Dyson Airwrap and you have long hair, go ahead and just get the original kind first. This will work. Um, it takes a little bit longer. You have to work in smaller sections, but it'll work just fine. And then if you end up liking it, then you know upgrade to this but i don't think that this is necessary especially if you haven't tried the original barrel yet having said that i think that i did learn a little bit more about the dyson air app or the curlers having done this video i honestly haven't used this very much since initially doing all my videos and curling my hair with it and it's just because it just takes so long it gets so hot and i just don't like it and i think what I learned from this video is you really don't need that damp of hair. Um, if I were to do this again, I would start with like 90% dry, 95% dry. Hair that just has just a little bit of moisture in it to be still pliable, but not enough for that you're gonna be spending more time drying your hair than curling it. And that was what I found took me the longest when I was using this initially. It was just, I just was spending more time trying to get all of the water droplets out of my hair than I was actually curling my hair. But other than that, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Have you tried the Dyson Air app? Did you have the same issue with the shorter barrels? And have you tried the longer barrels? And if you have, has this pretty much solved the issues that you had with the shorter barrels? Love to know all that in the comment section below. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and hit that bell notification so you see more videos like this. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.